Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to a special housing report brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand. Today we look at figures from the Real Estate Institute of New Zealand. These are sales figures from across the country in February from all the agents in the Real Estate Institute. They show that the number of sales in February was 4,502. What does that mean? Well, it was up 38% from January, but down 10% from February of last year. Obviously sales are relatively quiet in January, a lot of holiday activity, and it really starts to pick up in February and March. But it shows that the market remains relatively subdued across the country. When you look at the median price, it's up a bit to 350,000 from 340,000 in January, although it's flat from a year ago. Now, there is another measure, the stratified index. This takes into account some of these skews that come about when more houses are sold at the top end of the market or the bottom end of the market. Now this, is, this is this index compiled after a recommendation from the Reserve Bank. And what it shows is that prices rose by 2.3% in January, but they're down 0.9% over the last three months, and they're still down 5.6% from the peak. And when you look at the long term here, as you can see in this chart, Prices were relatively flat up until about 2002, then they took off, they peaked in 2007 and they've been up and down, bit of a double dip going on here and we're currently down 5.6% from the peak. Now ASB economists do their own seasonal adjustment on these figures from the Real Estate Institute and they say that the price is up around about 0.8% in January and volumes were up 2% on a seasonally adjusted basis between January and February. So a little bit more activity, but nothing too, too much to write home about. When you look, though, at the overall country, when you take out Canterbury, uh, which obviously was affected by the earthquake in the last week of February, then volumes are up a little bit more strongly. Canterbury sales fell 27% in the month. That's obviously because there were no sales going through in February. When you look at March, you can see that uh, we're not going to see too many sales in Canterbury, partly because of the earthquake and because insurance is not being issued there. Now, when you look to what else is happening in the market, another one we look at is average day days to sell, and that's up to 58 from 51 in January, and it's up from 46 days to sell in February a year ago, so it's taking longer to sell a house. Now this compares with 32 days to sell on average during the boom and a, a record high of 60, 68 or so in February 2001. Meanwhile, when you look at the regional details, prices are up on the North Shore and in Wellington and there seems to be a two-tiered market developing here. Those higher valued properties are selling and selling for slightly higher prices particularly because people have gotten more money back after the tax cuts late last year. But elsewhere in the country, anything that's coastal, anything that's provincial is struggling. And we can see that with prices down in Papamoa and Tauranga. And also down in Taupo, where prices uh, have fallen as vendors accepted more realistic market prices. And in Northland, where you're seeing a lot of coastal property, days to sell on average up to a record high 111. I'm Bernard Hickey, that was a special housing report brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand.